Well, okay, it's about uh, 12.35 at night. Our boiler uh, keeps shutting down. I've hit the reset multiple times, so I've got a pretty good idea. What the problem is, is uh, it's full of lint. Uh, it's, uh, our dryer is in the same room, so what's happening, and uh, this has happened before, that it's probably all clogged up. So I'm going to go ahead and tear this apart and uh, see if I can straighten it out. I've already got a service call in, uh, but I don't want to pay for a service call, so I'm just going to uh, let them know that I'd like to have them come down in a couple days to do a cleaning on the machine. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. This is just a quick fix to get you by. I've called the service uh, people, and they're going to be down in a couple days to clean it, but I need this going now, so I'm just going to show you what you can do to get this going. Okay, this is just a precaution. Okay, this little valve here, you want to shut this off. You want to just kind of spin that up, and that shuts the fuel off. Again, just a precaution. You should all know where your emergency switch is. Turn that off. And if you have easy access to it, shut your boiler breaker off as well. These are just all precautions. Safety first. All right, now, right in the back here, this is your transformer. There's gonna be a couple of screws holding that down. All you wanna do is just loosen those up. Pull those little tabs away. And lift that up. So just pretty much what I expected, uh, all the lint from the dryer, uh, where it being in the same room. I mean, check out down here. I mean, it's just covered with dust and lint and so forth. So this is what we got to look forward to so far with all the, the lint and the dust. I'm surprised it lasts as long as it has. All right, next, you want to take a 7 16 wrench and this little nut right here. Put that on there. Go ahead and remove that. Okay, then you need to remove this other nut here and just take a pair of channel locks. It shouldn't be that tight. Make sure that it goes back on the same way it come off. Alright, see the flat side? That has to go against the burner itself. This is so this nut here fits inside. Okay, next, any connections that need to be unplugged, go ahead and do that. And it should be just the one. If yours has, a, I think they call this a preheater. Go ahead and unplug that. And now you should be able to just reach in there, very carefully pull that assembly right out of there. Gonna have to negotiate it out there. It's Turn it a little bit there. Oh yeah. I think that has something to do with why it's not running right. Have your rag ready because what will happen when you start moving that around, you're gonna get some fuel coming out this side. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out in my shop and I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to clean this all up and clean all these fins up. Uh, obviously get all the dust all off and stuff. I'm not going to disturb the electrodes uh, right here. I'm not going to bother those. I'm not going to bother the nozzle. I'm not going to do anything. I've got a service technician who's going to come down and uh, do a preventive maintenance on this for me. Anyhow, I just need to get this going for the night and I'm sure I'll be able to do that. That's the purpose of this video, just to get this thing up and going. After I got it all vacuumed out there, also make sure you wipe down this little eye here. That kind of keeps an eye on the flame. So wipe that down as well. Um, clean the transformer up. All right, that cleaned up pretty good. Uh, again, I'm not going to bother uh, replacing the nozzle. I'm not going to mess with the electrodes. I'm not going to do anything. Uh, it's late at night. I just need to get this thing going to save myself a service call. So let's go ahead and uh, put this back together. Uh, when you do this, again, you just kind of have to negotiate it in there. Don't force it. It'll go. You know, it takes a little bit of finagling. Okay, remember that special nut. Okay, make sure that the flat side goes against the burner.
Go ahead and put the fuel line back on. Put the transformer back in. You want to make sure nothing's in the way of that eye. That's just this little hole here for the eye will see the flame. Place that back down. Then go ahead and tighten these back up. Turn your fuel back on. And our goal is to make sure that this bolt here is all the way up. And just keep turning until it stops. And that will open the valve. Turn the breaker back on. Hit your emergency switch. All right, let's go ahead and hit the reset. Still going to have the professionals come down and do a cleaning on it, uh, but you can see what happens when you have the dryer in the same room as your boiler. It just pulls all that dust right in. So uh, late into the morning, <laughs> so uh, I'm done. Thanks an awful lot for watching.